guys, we are going to start episode 3, Long Road Ahead, but we have a slight problem. It's not carrying any of my decisions forward to this episode. So, it thinks we skipped them and we didn't, so we're just going to say yes, generate story. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. Word's getting out that you want to leave the notary. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who raided my Calm camp. Calm down, you're paranoid. Fuck you! Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? That's right. But I know who you are, and I know you won't kill us. He's not dead! Somebody help me! Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. Damn it! What the fuck? Sounds like a car. There's a shitload of food and supplies back here. We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. Don't worry, little girl. Things will be all right out there. As long as we keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. Episode 3, Long Road Ahead. Looks like this is our lucky day. I don't like it. Keep your eyes peeled. Stay optimistic. Let's just get inside. Yeah, all this going down has made me pessimistic. Especially since all my choices are lost. So we'll see what happens. Um what the story thinks I did because it didn't carry over my choices from the first two episodes which I heard heard is a problem with this game you made up your mind yet about what when it comes to the getting the hell out of Macon considering I've been pushing everyone to leave I'm undecided Take that as a yes, then. I swear, Lee, I'd be on my boat in a goddamn minute if I didn't think splitting up was suicide. A plane crashed through the roof? Apparently. Okay, just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. If we're out of options, something's better than nothing. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips he's got in us. No kidding. Alright. Um, well, if the ladder's loose, do I really want to get on it? Well, that's not very quiet. What now? We're gonna move on. All right. It was blocked by all the fallen concrete. Okay. I can take the barrel. Um, let's look at it. Let's see. Looks like it still works. What am I gonna attach this not doing to? So good. No shit. There's a lot to be worried about. She's gonna snap. What are you gonna do with the rig? Can I move it out of the way? That's gonna make a lot of noise. Okay. Not to mention the fact that it's probably gonna make things collapse. Well, is it tires? Completely flat. 
Well, you should have looked at that before you hooked it up there, Lee. I guess that's how we're getting up. Something about that guy at Hershey's farm last night. Really? That one's in Sula's favor. Of course it's his. What'd he say? He wanted to know if Herschel's son somehow made it. Pretty sure he knows he didn't. Don't worry. You made out like a hero this time. It's not like that. All right. Tell me up, Kim. Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Yep. Nice swimming. Next time I'm bringing Ben. Help me get out. Don't scream, lady. You're bringing them all at you. What the hell is that? A walker? Walkers don't scream, do they? Jesus. I don't think so. It's a girl. We have to help her. How? There's no getting to her. We've got to do something. Ah. Um, no. Okay, she's bit. What? Sorry. We gotta shoot her. Stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. Oh man, tough choice. Um, you're a lunatic, so I'm sorry. Yeah, you already bit late on the leg once. I feel bad about that decision. I really do. But, you know, she's screaming, yelling, caterwauling over out there. Um, there's an achievement that, uh, you know, I don't need somebody that unstable with my group. Go. Uh, garbage. What's in the garbage? Take that. Take that. Whoops. Take that. Take that. I have no idea what I'm grabbing. Six items. Nope. Oh, you didn't let me get that last one. She's gone. There's not much time now. Grab, 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 grab. Come on, grab, grab, grab. Oh, no. Backpack has lots of supplies. Oh, incoming. Come on, Lee. Come on, up and over. Nope. Oh. Oh, yep, that's me. I'm the buttons. Come on, Kenny. Help me. Kenny. Kenny, fucker. Help me. Come on. Whoops, X wrong button. Oh. Now, let's fucking get out. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, no, 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 you go away. You leave me the fuck alone. Come on, give me the signal to do something to you. Wrong button. Shit. It's the pilot from the plane. Come on. No need to feel sorry about it. Lee, get your ass moving. They're everywhere. You took care of yourself, didn't you? Where's all the supplies I had? Arrows, so we've had some bandit attacks. Nice lookout, kid. You're not even watching. Let's play him. You're back. Finn found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walking bag. Hey, BT. It's me. I'll find you in a minute. Looks like we got your kid on watch again. What'd you get? You might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. Oh. Kenny, you gotta be nice to her. So, what did you get? Just what was left. Which was a lot, actually. Take a look. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This will keep us going. Carry on like this, we'll get through the winter again. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here. Because piling up is so what you did to my dad is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know, I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We all get to stay here. We have to go eventually. So you came all the way to this school to learn? I know. Eventually, get there. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly? Don't follow people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. I don't think you're capable of We're strongest together. I know you think I'm out there, but there are no thighs, damn it. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. No, because Lee knows how to take care of people, not just things. We deal with shit as it comes, just like we always do. And when 15 bears are running around the block in the middle of the night, what then? You just gonna deal with that? Everything that's happened to us is another excuse for you to pull the crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? Your pal and I got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. Everything we could out of the drugstore. And you just let her suffer like her what? Like bait? I don't know. We got what we needed. It was just something that had to happen. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Penny. You should be thanking Lee for not shooting that girl. It's not so easy for him. Look, Macon and its people aren't saving us. It's not a town. We're left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth, and it's coming this way. It's not going to be easier out on the road. How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing. And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day. All right, she's losing it. She is losing it. Achievement, bad blood. Uh, move achievement so I can see my choices, please. Happy Kenny. My family's alive and that RV is running. You're goddamn right I am. Everyone is under great stress. Whenever this shit happens, I'm the fucking bad guy. I'd like a thank you for once. For once!
Hmm, I think Katja's still in the supplies. Use your head. You can say that. I like if you did good today. And I find myself thinking that next day. <gasps> Is she getting a little flirty? Probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to appear paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk to you. I mean, you've got a minute. I think she's warming up to him. Yes, she is. That's the look. All right. Let's go talk to Lily. Not that I really want to. Sure. Just barge right in, Lee. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. I think I'm in a really good mood. I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't, but it's all you mentioned. Things are missing, and I can use your help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us. You will see that they have been taking things. Maybe it's duck. For real. Who? What do you got? This can't for real. And I don't know shit. I just know. Lily. She tests all sorts of good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy. She'll talk anything with opium in it. I see the count, and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's been messed. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happened to Lily. So you want me to start walking? I want you to keep an eye on her. Hmm. Kid taking drugs? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh? We fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you should have. Okay, uh. I'll poke around a little bit. Thank you. Sure, why not? Duck. Sorry. <sighs> you need to unhear all of that. <laughs> what did I just say? You finally gonna be useful, Duck? I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is. Um. Fine, we'll give in to him. Okay. Sorry, I have a soft spot for kids, even duck. Well, what do I do? Keep your mouth shut, for starters. Okay, go look around a little bit. Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. Keep your mouth shut, duck. Okay, so. Now, let's see. Duck will help. I don't want you to go see Lily. Can't go anymore. That direction. Oops, what's... Oh, that's the stairs to go up there. Talk to Carly. Um... Yeah, I'll show him the flashlight, see how he reacts to that. Do you guys know anything about this place? Oh, we don't got many of those. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted up. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. That was awful. Okay. I'll hey, talk you two. To him. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. Yeah, and look, I don't like it. It's the way it's gotta be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? Um. We need to try harder with Lily. You guys gotta straighten this out. I don't know how straight we can get it given all that's happened. So what then? Time will come we'll have to do what's best for our families. And that's what we'll do. Kenny, you just. You can guys still try. You guys, uh, trust everyone here? More or less. I obviously have my problems with Lily, but I don't distrust her. No, and we can't count on each other any more than we have. About the gun. Don't you start. 
I just wanted to say, Cat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Willie. <sighs> but we need them. There's no doubt about that. I'll talk to you later. All right. I talked to them. I'm going to look at the gate. Yeah. Very easily can be breached. Yeah, but I guess you do the best you can. All right, let's look at the RV. Actually had that thing run. I'll believe it when I see it. I'm talking to the kid about the flashlight. The flashlight was broke. Was it you? No. You're not in trouble if it was. I know you get nervous, and maybe you went out to go to the bathroom, broke it, got worried, and tossed it. What's with the third degree? I didn't break any flashlight. Okay, then. Okay, let's talk to him. I haven't talked to him for hey a while. There. What's up, Lulu? You ever come down here to make it much? I didn't have much reason to. My parents would let me take the car into the city on the weekends. But what's in make it? It's kind of a waste of time compared to Atlanta. I grew up in Atlanta. I didn't mean to say it's crappy or anything. It's super nice. <laughs> I mean, not now, but I bet it was. <laughs> Is... Hey, you seem to have been weird on the bus. Is there anybody out there up to anything? Nope. Really? Yeah, totally. Which is good. What do you think about Lily? She scares the crap out of me. That's a reasonable <laughs> thing to be. I'm just worried she's going to snap. Yeah, we all are, Ben. All right. Glass by the... Ice machine. Yep. It's a match. Why is there an X on the wall? A chalk. think it's anything. Maybe it's the dog. It could be. It's pink chalk. Weird. Okay, back to investigating. Okay. That's chalk there. You can talk to Clementine. Alright, where is Clementine? can't. Clem, where are you? I didn't see you. No, you're not over here. Wait, I want to go back. That's what I want to look at. Duck's favorite. Duck's favorite is hopscotch? Okay. So where's Clem? Uh, okay, that's a wall. All right. Can't quite see where. Uh, Clem is. There she is. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lou. Do, uh, do you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I found something. What is it? I found chalk and stuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was combing the scene for clues. Yeah, and Duck, I got it. Good job. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. I guess we give him a high five. Cool. <laughs> Incredibly awesome. Chalk on the ground. See, I did good, huh? Yeah, well. yeah reluctantly, Doc, you did. You go out there and make a run. You stay here this time. Serious this time. Okay. Uh, do I want to? I want to go talk to Carly first. She said she wanted to talk to me, so I'm going to do that before I head out. Thinks supplies have been walking around. Really? There's some broken equipment too. I'll look into it. Thanks for doing that. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. Well, sure, I like her. I think that was a bad line. Carly, Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about how much Uh, it, it was, was a lifetime, lifetime ago. Which is only going to make the feeling that you hid it and that there was even more to hide that much worse. People might be pissed, and telling them might cause some trouble, but it would be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. Who are they going to hear it from? You? Ah, <sighs> boy. Carly, you're putting me in a bad spot. Ah, <sighs> it's I'll fine. It's fine. Goodbye. I don't think so. <laughs> Aww. Don't call me small. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Not the best like compliment you could give, Anything Lou. Else you want to talk about? Um. Did you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor and a high-rise apartment, and hand me a full-bodied Malbec, and then I'll feel safe. Oh, I don't know. This place mm -hmm. is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. That's right. You uh, have any thoughts about Lily? I worry about her. That's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. You really think people are ready to hear about me? It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time, but there are going to be a lot of bad ones. I can't imagine anything, but everyone's different. Who knows how each person would take it? It's worth thinking about who you want to tell. I'm going to look into this thing. Good idea. Hmm. Who would I want to tell? Kenny is, uh, not going to like it. Let's start with Clementine. Maybe I can tell her first. Wait, I need to talk to you for a second. Okie dokie. Um, before I met you, before the plague, I killed somebody. Oh, so that's what... Yeah, that's right. It was a bad thing and there's no excuse. Why are you telling me that? Because I didn't want to keep it to myself with her. Carly pressured me. You can go on back to your thing. Come on, you, she's got to have questions. Just thought you worked on the thing. It's called a leaf rubber. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden one day. See, it's the same. Um, kind of. Now that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? I don't know. 
Can you tell me where? Yeah. That'd be a good thing to know. I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay. Alright, so I told Clem. Here's Lily's door. Let's try Lily. I think that's... Um, Kenny's just going to blow his lid if he finds out. So, where's... Oh, is Lily's door over here? Yeah, it is. Alright. <sighs> Alright. She's probably going to lose it too, but... I didn't kill her father! It's a good thing. Well, there's this chalk. chalk marking on the wall on the side of the motel, matching scuff on the other side, leading out of the gate. Why is this door here again? I know. Whoever it is went out to do something, but they come and go all the time. I don't want to create more paranoia. Go outside and look. You have to. Okay. Um. Let me ask her this first. I want to leave here when you have to, not because of some fantasy of somewhere better. So, you think the coast is a pipe dream? Don't you? We're going to live on the water because we assume they can't swim? We're alive because we've stayed here. That's as far as the discussion needs to go. I need okay. to tell you something. Sure, go ahead. But if it's bad news, maybe save it. Uh, okay. I was sent to prison before the fall. What? Dad said there was something about me. So you know. I didn't know what to know. Well, that's good. I'm sorry. He treated you like shit. He knew who you were, and you would have had all the reason in the world to kill him. And you didn't. I didn't. That's right. What happened? You killed the guy. So what? Everyone else has got the sword shortly thereafter, huh? Misery loves company. All right, so I told Lily. I'm not gonna tell Duck. Um. All right, this is gonna be hard to tell Kenny. What's the best way to? T Let me try with Katya. Hi guys. Approach her. I'm gonna talk to Katya first. Sure. Is everything okay? <laughs> uh, I don't think Kenny likes that. <laughs> Probably a bad decision. I was on my way to prison three months ago. You've always looked at me as a kind guy. I wonder if you could still do that. My goodness, for what? How much trouble can a teacher get into? <laughs> but, but yeah. <laughs> well, it was for murder. Why? Mm, my wife. That's enough. Tell me what happened when you were last in the street at the dairy. Um, yeah, okay. I was given Larry CPR on the floor. Kenny came in from out of nowhere and put a stop to it. What did he do? He smashed his head in. <gasps> I actually wasn't given CPR, but it's one of the story decisions I guess the game made for me. Cut. I think I just broke up a marriage. This is going to keep changing. Now I'm going to go try to talk to Kenny. That's going to be fun. Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. Yeah? What do you got? Dennis for you, Carly. Okay, should I sit down? Please. Ah. <sighs> to marry at a safe age, different from everything else. It was before the war. A citizen? Yes. I know. I didn't say anything when I met you because I was with a girl and, you know, I, I was worried. Look, we've all done gnarly shit now. But what? 
you were some kind of killer? It's not that I don't like what I see. Is Duck safe around you? Absolutely. Good. Sorta. Of. But you should know. <laughs> if we gotta make no difference with this new boat, the boat ain't going back. Ah, <sighs> Kenny. I appreciate it though. All right. That's the like, only one I haven't told is Ben and Duck. Appreciates my he better appreciate my honesty, buddy. Hey Ben, I need to tell you something. Sure, Lee. Is it about my watch? I'm trying to do a good job. You're doing fine. Um Sure. Soften the blow with he's a kid. Oh, seriously? What um what are you in for? <sighs> it's not important. Oh. Just if you hear anything, it's probably true. Now you know. Thanks for trusting me, man. I, uh, I... Ben, relax. Okay. <laughs> Alright. The only one I haven't told is Duck. I'm gonna tell Duck, then, um, I'll go talk to Carly, and then I'll go outside. Flashlight did you, Duck? No, Mom and Dad won't let me keep any of this stuff. Where will I leave it? Well, it's probably for the best. Alright, let's try to tell Duck. You seem oh. to know a bit about all of this. The chalk, you found the scuff here. This is gonna sound crazy, but you're not involved, are you? No, I'm a good guy. Have you found anything else? Just the chalk. I also found some bugs underneath the stairs. Don't tell Clementine. Okay, I won't. Stay bugs. inside the gate. I will, I will. Do I have an option to tell Duck? I will, I will. Okay, apparently not. Alright. So I'm going to go talk to Carly before I head out. Just let her know I told everybody. Nope, nope, nope. Come on. Then we'll head out the gate. Do some investigating. I was talking to Kenny about who I am. And? I don't know. Feels like I just gave him ammo if we ever have to make any tough decisions when it comes to a headcount. Oh. Well, don't worry. I talked to Katya. How'd she take it? She was fine, I guess. I think she's more upset about Kenny. Because of the same talk? What was he about then? Don't you start it now. I talked to Clementine about things. How'd she handle it? I don't know. Things took a week. She adores you. Don't worry. I told Ben. You told Ben? Why didn't you tell Tim? Low risk. And I take it he didn't know what to do with the information. Not even a little. He's just happy I told him something. Poor kid's feeling left out. Told Lily. We were right. She and Larry spoke, obviously. She was all right, though. Well, you're about all she's got left. I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. Mm, she emphasizes the you. I'll talk to you later. All right, Lee, we got to come back from this alive. Kind of greasing the wheels there with Carly. Alright, Ducky, I'm going out. You stay right here. <laughs>